Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Sea Glass playthrough. I'm going to throw my blue light glasses on real quick. Uh, in the last episode, we got to Doofer Town, and I did make a change to the team. I put Pidgey on the squad, and I put Sandslash over Meditite. Uh, Sandshrew, sorry. Uh, this is the fighting gym, so I figured having Fajita, the Pidgey, would be a good idea. And I just wanted my boy Sancho on the team, so I put him on there. Um, I'm going to... I'll fight a couple of these trainers real quick, just to get a little bit of experience. I don't know what level this gym is going to be at, uh, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out. I'm going to do a couple of these training... A couple of these trainer fights. Sorry. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, we should be able to go into the gym pretty quickly. I think we'll be okay. Oh, excuse me. Gust on you. Oh, that did no damage. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's go into Gamble. <laughs> I left the statue on the team, the Azuril. Uh, I ran around for like two minutes before starting. I just put the speed up on and ran back and forth, hopefully getting the friendship up uh, to get the evolution off of that guy. That's my that's my goal. So hopefully get that Azuril to evolve into a Meryl because shortly after it'll become an Azuril. And if this is a fighting gym, it should be very good for it. So let's hope for the best. I have something stuck in my finger and it's actually really annoying right now. It feels like almost like a fiberglass. Like, you know, you get fiberglass stuck in your finger. It's like just you can't find it. You can't see it, but you can feel it. Yeah, it's kind of how I'm feeling right now. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Uh, let's go in here. Can I go do the... Oh, sit encounter. 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 That's why I was coming over here. Oh, <gasps> my boy. I love Zubat so much. This is a great Pokemon. It's actually extremely good for this gym, too. Um, I could probably just stay in. I'll gust you once. Let me gush you. Good damage, good damage. Supersonic Mist. Go for another one. I do love me a Zubat. Let me tell you. Let me tell ya. Give me the Zubat all day. Uh, what do I got? What do I got? Pokeball. I am low on Pokeballs. Let me also tell ya. Got it. Let's go. All right. Pulling up the video. Bam. Mm -mm 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 all right. Let's get a nickname for this. Poison flying type, typical, or a Zubat. Let's go with... Let's go with Anya. I read the comment. Uh, Longtime lurker of the channel, Josh, said that he has a baby on the way. And they settled on the name Anya and asked if I could use it. And I liked the name a lot, so I was like, I'm going to use it. Uh, that's a very, very good Pokemon. I, I really do like... I really do like Zubat and Golbat, but I do feel like I use them a lot. So I'm going to hold off on using them for now. I kind of want to just go into this first gym. Let's just go test out one of the trainers in this gym. Oh, it's this. They did this whole stupid thing again. Let's see what levels these people are at. Let's get a feel for it. A Sneasel. That is not a fighting type. Uh, that is very good against my Pokemon. It's a Skittles. The thick fat fighting type, which walls you forever. Fan attack, <laughs> laughable. Laughable. That did more damage than I expected. Let me tell you. Goes for the quick attack, force palm, should one shot. Yep. All right. Okay, so level wise, so only level 13. That's not bad. Got quick attack, very nice. I feel like a pure flying Pidgeot could be really fun to use. Um, I don't know if they made any other changes to this aside from um, typing. Like, I don't know if they changed any stats or anything like that. I mean, I don't, it doesn't really need to be for me to enjoy it. I uh, just think there might be more to this Pokemon than, than we notice. Is this, this is a double battle, okay. Have we done any double battles yet? I think we have. I don't know. This might be the first one. Might be the first one. 
Meditite and Machop. Let's go for... Let's double into the Meditite first. I'm going to fake out. And then the Gust. The damage. Hit the flinch. Machop goes for the low sweep on the Burb. It is resisted, but that did do a lot of damage. Um, we're going to Gust and we're going to Force Palm. The Machop. He detects. Okay, if we get the para on Machop, that could be good. No para. Focus energy. Ooh. Okay, we are going to double into that Machop. That's it with confusion. Into the Pidgey. Okay. Alright, well, you're gone. Well, that's good. We get a level up. Don't think that's going to save me from any other uh, potential damage from that Metatite, but I just trying to learn Fury Cutter. Uh, is Rapid Spin buffed? It's base 50. Okay. Get rid of Poison Sting. All right. I'm going to switch Fajita into pistachio and then we're going to force palm the meditate try to get a para there's a little confusion on that slot should live get confused that's fine not a problem get the paralysis perfect that's what i was hoping for pretty much all i was hoping for there uh let's go into confetti and go for another force bomb. Okay. Should be a little GG. A little GG right there, bruv. And you're gone. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I am glad I did decide to give this game a run. I was very, very hesitant based off of the... Uh, when I was dependent, based off of just like some screenshots I had seen of the game. For some reason, something about it really didn't look appealing. I don't know if the screenshots just looked weird at the time or something, but uh, did not like it, honestly. Oh, excuse me. But now that I'm actually playing it, I'm actually really enjoying it. So I am glad I decided to trust, you know, the people who suggested it and give it a shot because it's been a lot of fun. The biggest thing is that I just feel like I played a lot of Emerald this year and I was trying to switch it up a little bit. But I also did black and white like 17 times with Mac during the Soul Link, so I also felt like I didn't want to do Gen 5. <coughs> and I'm also doing Heart Gold Soul Silver for my uh oh, excuse me. I'm just doing some speed up. These battles aren't super difficult, but I do want to go heal and get the experience. Uh for the Iron Mon I'm doing, you know, uh Heart Gold Soul Silver, so I felt like, you know what, a little extra Gen 3 love isn't the end of the world here. So it was it was worth. Definitely worth. I'm liking this team so far too. This team's a really cool composition here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Another Makuhita. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna go for the gust. I assumed you'd fake out, but it's okay. They did nine damage. Force palm will do more, and you're probably gonna para. Knowing my luck. Nine damage. No paralysis. If you don't power me this time, we can get the KO. Nice. Very nice, very nice. I would hopefully get a Pidgeotto before we get to the gym leader. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Could go buy the XP candies, I guess. That's like always an option. Uh, I think there's one more trainer. Yeah. Um. Do I have the XP candies anywhere? No. Um, I'm gonna heal up, and I'm going to quick grind. I'm just gonna do a quick grind. Don't mind me. Confused me, and I'm poisoned. We break through. 
Magikarp, break through. Okay. Nothing great there. A King's Rock. Interesting. Not the item I expected to find there. Another hard scale. We get a lot of hard scales. I've noticed that. Uh, let's go do this last trainer in here. I'll speed up to get to it. I would like to get through this gym leader before the end of the episode, so. That's why I'm using a little bit extra speed up here. Oh. That's not great for me. Um, let's go to Diamond. Snubble is a little strong. Bite is resisted. And let's go for the Ember. Nice. Ember. Okay, that was your only Pokemon. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I'm going to grind up this... Uh, this Pidgey. Oh, I'm not grinding against you. Let's go into you. Mega Drain. Gust. Gust. Level 16. Do you have level 16 or 18, actually? I th think you're 18. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to just rock with Pidgey then. I don't know if this team is going to be good enough to get through this gym. The gym leaders have not been bad by any means. Um, I just I think I was just over leveled for the last one which made it a little easier but I think this one's going to be a lot more balanced I'm not going to lead with you then I'm going to lead with Skittles because we do have Fake Out and hopefully we can get through this Pitch Black Cave you want to challenge me let's see what you're made of alright buddy come on Brawly what you got for me what you got for me look at that twins are you going to fake me out too? Aha, uh -huh. I want the speed die. Uh, I do not want to get paralyzed though, I'm going to be honest. Um, but if I paralyze you first. Citrus. Bulk up. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, where's my bulk up at, buddy? Why don't I have bulk up? Vital throw. Ow. Okay. I did a lot. I don't know if that was guts boosted. Mine's got thick fat, but about to send out a Heracross. Oh, I love that I get the switch priority. Oh, yeah, Heracross. That's a sick Pokemon to have. That's a big jump right there. I'm going to assume he's going to have, like, rock throw. And he's just going to one-shot me. But I'm going to go for the sand attack. Goes for a bulk up. Okay. The sand attack may or may not save my life. <laughs> um, But regardless, knock off. I don't have an item. No way. No way. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree with that damage. That was insane. I'm going to go for the Ember because bulk up means Peck is going to do literally zero damage. But the Ember should still toast you. You need to chill out, buddy. You need to chill out. Can you burn this guy? I'm sure they gave him guts too, but... Burn. Thank you. Bulk up Heracross is so wild. We're definitely not under, uh, we're definitely not overleveled for this one. Bro, he is, if, <laughs> that sand attack's gonna save me. Remember that. Remember I told you. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I said the sand attack. Oh, he didn't die. I started talking a little too soon. Um, do I have revives? I need a sneeze. <coughs> I do not have a revive. I just would like to get the experience uh, for him if I could have. He's in a potion? I'm thrust. <laughs> it saved us. He's like plus six. I don't know if they, I don't know. I feel like for some reason, fighting types always have guts. I was wondering if they would have given it to him in this. Or not, but is, is flame charge? Oh, 
Oh, you know how to make me smile, let me tell you. As I get rid of sand attack, when I probably should have kept it, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh, man, that's these. Whew. You still have another Pokemon, though, don't you? We're not done. We are not done. Pistachio, level 16. Try to learn Helping Hand. Get rid of Water Gun. I think you're kind of a support Pokemon. Might be some more double battles in this. I don't know. I don't know if it's completely exactly the same as Gen 3, but there's only like three of them in the game. Uh, about to send out a Metatite. Oh, we stay in. I mean, I'm weak to Psychic, but... Um, I'm going for the Flame Charge. My physical attack's a little bit better, I believe. Flame Charge is stronger, too. Big damage. You have Counter. Light Screen. Beautiful. GG. GG. All right, not too bad. That Heracross would have been a problem. I can't believe that knockoff killed. I mean, it's a Pidgey. That's why if I had the Pidgeotto right there, we probably just swapped Pidgeotto. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. That was a good run. Good fight. Good fight. Look at Makuita dancing back there. We got the Knuckle Badge. Thank you, Brawly. I remembered your name. Because I'm a smart Pokemon trainer. Uh, up to level 30, we'll obey you. Use flash outside of battle. I did see someone's comment saying that you don't need to teach the HMs in this, which is good to know. Oh, you give me the TM for bulk up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bulk up. Ooh, who should I have a bulk on? I mean, if I end up with speed boost on my uh, blaze again, bulk up speed boost would go crazy. Although I do have flame charge. I could just go straight for that. I think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna waste any time. I think I just put it on Diamond. I mean, that's my starter. That's going to be on my team the whole playthrough. Get rid of Peck. Ember Flame Charge, Bulk Up, Double Kick. Oh, yeah. That's our sweeper, baby. Hariyama with Thick Fat's really good for this, too. All right, we got to go find Steven in the cave now. Um, And with that, I'm going to... Run some speed up here. What do we got here? An escape rope. Okay. Uh, let's switch. Stash Hill still didn't level up there. That's kind of sad. I really, I mean, he didn't evolve. All right. Um, I have oh, Aaron was down here. I have done this cave with the with no lights a lot of times. That does not mean I'm going to know exactly where to go. Sableye down here. Ooh. Wishing star. Um, I think I'm already lost. No, you go this way. And up here is an item. A little hidden item right here. On this rock. An Everstone. Gaslit? Dude, this cave got some cool Pokemon. If you're playing through this game and you kind of, you know, don't know what you want to run for a team, there are options. Options in this cave. <laughs> Interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Oh, a letter for me. Yep. Okay, thank you. You went through all this trouble to deliver that. I needed to thank you. Let me see. Let me get this TM. Favorite move, Steel Link. Steel Link for the Pidgeotto? Could be good. I wanted to talk to that guy, actually. There was a guy on this little ledge here. Who are you? Where'd you go? Yeah, what are you doing down here? Rare gems, but I found these. Maybe you can use them. Four wishing stars. Oh. Wow. A lot of wishing stars, which I don't really know what they... Like, I guess it's for those, like, random encounters. Which... Arena trap? That's hilarious. Magnitude over sand attack. Um, should talk to this guy. Oh, he gives us flash. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know why I didn't talk to him the first time, but we did now. Um, what was I just going to say? Wishing stars. Um, I don't know. I haven't come across any of those wishing wells yet, aside from that first one. 
if they're if that's just the only one and you can just keep getting random pokemon from that because i was told it's a random pokemon you get um i'll try to limit it to like a couple of those maybe if this isn't like a legit crazy nuzlocke or nothing so i'm gonna go to a slate port i'm not sweating you know the amount of encounters and stuff i get this isn't some crazy challenge i'm just trying to experience the game so if i feel like i'm missing you know some pokemon and my team's a little lackluster and i want to spice it up a little bit maybe i'll go try one of those wishing wells if i come across another one i'll probably just do one at that location um and you know kind of keep it like that i don't know if you guys have any ideas or opinions on how i should do it let me know but this team right now is pretty good and we got a firewater grass core with azumarill blaziken and breloom uh we got an extra fighting type here for these are both fighting so i mean i'm kind of stacked on the fighting types and then we got a flying and a ground not terrible um the fighting typing on this isn't like you know the end of the world for me honestly i like breloom a lot but i'll probably swap him out for something a dark type would be nice obviously like i don't want to just run all psychic weaknesses um but we'll have to we'll have to do some research and see what kind of pokemon we can get our hands on uh, before making some you know big time team decisions let me check this mart here more tms anything else new here there's bullet seed taunt protect prevent status abnormality with a mystical power status abnormality like safeguard creates illusionary copies to enhance it is that minimize Ugh. sandstorm stops the foe from moving with rocks rock tomb okay man those descriptions is that just me or those descriptions were kind of confusing arbor mail oh you know what i should do that store that's available at um is it Petalburg? your dad's town that might be a good spot to go i'm gonna save it up here though uh because there's that store that's over there that they said like updates as you get more badges so i should probably head back over there to see what's available but uh in the next one we are going to go to the north we're going to get an encounter there i'm going to do a quick search to see if there's a wishing well oh oh shoot roxanne was that once you also battle me again or something let me see if there's a wishing well thing around here and if you guys if i'm just crazy and there's only that one let me know but just do a quick search and there are these stores here which these are usually some good shops not good evolution stones things i'm never going to use and other things i'm not going to use okay uh, yeah, we'll wrap it up here. If you guys got any uh, suggestions when it comes to, like the wishing stars or the way I should do it, let me know. Uh, but leave nicknames and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.